Assalamu alaikum everyone. I am Fariha and my other team members are Shiha Bhosan and Nusrat Nahyan Fatima. Today our presentation topic is about basic sequences, association and relationship. So without any further ado, I would like to start my presentation. So what is basis? Well, a basis is a rock body with specified characteristic that form under certain condition, condition of sedimentation reflecting a particular process, set of condition or environment. Moreover, the basis concept refers to rock bodies that uh, have distinctive physical, chemical and biological features. Faces was first introduced by Nicola Steno and modern use of the term is credited to Grizzly. Now it is uh, also used as non-stratigraphical cell and species. In case of naming faces, it makes more sense to use descriptive name because it provides the, us the clue of the nature of faces. We designate faces commonly on the basis of lithophases, biophases, and ichnophases. Ichnophases mean uh, trace fossils. Faces sequence uh, is a series of phases uh, where uh, phases properties change progressively in a particular direction. These phases sequence dated. Walter's law is very much important to understand phases sequence. In a uh, simplified uh, way, we can state that if different kind of phases are found superimposed on uh, one another without a break in vertical uh, succession, these phases, these phases are deposited laterally at one time. In the stratigraphic sequence, C is indicating the shoreline. So what will happen if C level is rise? If C level is rise, the shoreline will shift it towards the landward and we will find pining upward phases sequence where we will find terrestrial phases at the bottom and uh, offshore and the marine faces at the top, which is no, these changes is known as retrogradation. And if uh, sea level is fall, we will find finding downward sequence where marine faces will be found at the bottom and the coarser or coastal uh, shallow depth terrestrial faces will found at the top. These changes is known as progradation. So keep attention there. Walter state that these uh, the faces in this particle statement are where deposit at uh, in lateral adjacent to each other at one time. And this was my part. Now, faces association uh, will explain by my teammate Shiha Bhusan. Thanks, Farah, Thank for giving me the floor. Association. A collection of multiple genetically related phases formed within system. Like we have some phases, those are found in fluvial environment, then we call them fluvial phases association. The association provides additional evidence we can in, we can interpret our environment. Phases association tells us where and which conditions deposit the deposit this group of phases. Common phases association is known as arc structural element. For example, lateral accretion deposits point verb within meandering river environments. Also, arc structural elements are channels, bed forms, etc. The, con the concept of arc structural element is the geometry of a phasis association. This is the graphical sedimentary log with phasis information. We can find phasis column by lithology. The use of columns for each phases allows for trend and patterns in phases and associations to be readily recognized. Now, our team members know start with the phases relationship. No start, please carry on. Thank you, Shia Bhusan, for the opportunity. Now, phases is categorized by grain size, sedimentary structure, and composition. And uh, phases can be related to sedimentary rocks, and environment can be interpreted from those sedimentary rocks. Um, such as river channel has distinct sedimentary structure than flat plain. So um, an individual faces can hardly uh, indicate the certain environment. So crossbed, such as crossbedded uh, sandstone can, uh, can indicate a different uh, environments uh, such as desert lakes uh, of, and symmetrical ripple structure is uh, uh, sometimes indicates a process rather than environment. And, uh, 
sometimes uh, and also 10 different faces uh, sometimes indicates only one depositional environment so we have to consider a group of faces rather than just one faces lateral and vertical faces relationship is also considered in case of faces relationship here we can uh, according to walter's law uh, a direct environment relationship exists between lateral faces and vertically or superimposed succession of strata and here we can see that the limestone faces is moving toward the land surface and also if you consider the vertical faces we can see the same sequence repeating itself and it applies also to the marine transgression and marine regression that was all for the faces relationship thank you everyone for your attention